is up beautiful people, it's Saladin here, welcome back to my channel. I'm ready to play on Fenrir in rank duel against what looks like a Loki. <laughs> is the son gonna kill our father? Seems pretty legit. I know you guys hate Loki, so I thought this game is gonna be fun. But we're starting off with a Bracer and going to Attacker's Blessing tier 2 Transcendence. Transcendence is extremely powerful, so kinda won that early game. We're gonna ward up over here, just not getting invaded. Actually... I shouldn't invade myself. Let's ward up on his blue buff instead. Putting two points into our uh, brutalize or three and summon to our stun on our uh, mobility. We don't need life steal at this point. We just put that AOE damage on the buff. Couple hits on the minis and there's the cleared blue buff, which is tankier than the speed buff. By the way, also you should start blue buff because it feels like a better start right now in duel. This sustain is very important early on. Unless you plan to kill the enemy in first two ways, you should always go for the blue buff. He's late to the wave, he also didn't get his blue, which is fun. Gonna harass him with a stun here. Brutalize, he takes damage from the minions now. If I land my jump, he should die. There you go. Pretty easy stuff. Super aggressive god Fenner in the early game. Not a whole lot he can do about that if he pushes up like this, thinking that he's safe. Our attacker's blessing is very soon to be stacked already. We have a two up, so we're gonna heal up a little bit. Make him lose that experience in the wave. He actually already lost the whole wave. Hmm, that was not enough damage. He's gonna take it, but we have a brutalize with bracer for that's his bracer as well. I'm gonna land my jump and kill him again. Hmm, damage wasn't enough, huh? Okay, that's fine. I'm gonna back off a little bit. He just now hit level 4. I'm heading level 5 very soon. Let's heal up. Need to push up so the minions won't aggro me. That's a stun. Oh, I took a tower shot. That's unfortunate. I'm dead. That was very unfortunate. I took a little step B into the tower range and the tower shot me immediately. That not always happened, but yeah, it did happen, which is unfortunate for us. Our mage's blessing is finally stacked. Our damage improved significantly. We also got a little bit of pen. We hit level 5 as well. He's now a little bit ahead of me in experience, but it's fine. I'm gonna pop that mana pod and grab our speed buff as well. I don't think he's doing red, right? Hard to tell. No, he's not. Okay. Let's ward up over here. She should be coming in very soon. Looks like he's too late. It is great for us. We're not going to be able to pick the uh, red buff, but early game it doesn't even matter. Speed buff is sometimes even more powerful. Let's stun him and ult him. Ooh, that was also his invisibility. That means that it, it is his ultimate. There you go. He's very much afraid of me. He has no bracer, no ultimate, nothing. We are kind of um though, so it's not like we can kill him as well. Without the blue buff, this thing isn't there. Let's stun him and see what happens. He goes in, we can box, he can't do anything about it. If he decided to land another auto attack at me, he would have died there. I'm able to farm easily. Looks like he's backing, we should also back. Looking for a stun here. He's afraid. He knows what I'm doing. Let's try and hit him. Nope. Okay, unfortunate. Oh, he hit me. Let's see. You like that damage, my man? He should ult out. Oh, no. He decided to ult me instead. That was stupid. He got killed by archers. He really underestimated the damage that he did. Anyway, I would have been able to kill him nonetheless, even without the archers. So I don't know what he was thinking there. Let's grab his blue buff. We now have sustain again and some cooldowns. We're gonna drop our speed buff on the way to the lane here. Unfortunately, not enough money for full transcendence, but another one fight. Your middle tower is under attack. Gonna ward up over here again. Oh, there he is. Let's stun him. Oh, that was invisibility. He's dead. 
Ah, oh, that's extremely unfortunate. He decided to go in this right as I decided to stun him. That's like super unfortunate for him. Oh, and there's a five minute surrender vote. I don't think that this game is enough. Let's probably do a double feature. Yeah, I think a double feature will do it. Welcome back to my channel, guys. Or more like, welcome back to the next video of the double feature. We're playing two games in a row. Hopefully this one is going to be a win, unless <laughs> I'm probably not going to be able to upload it. But we're playing Anubis against Arachne, so, you know, I got a pretty good feeling about this. Uh, we're picking up a Bracer and Bancroft's Tier 2 as a pretty good start for any lifesteal based mage and duel. We're gonna ward up over here just to make sure that he doesn't invade. Um, picking up Bracer on Anubis might be actually a bad idea because that just warns the anti-heal. But considering it's Arachne, I'm just gonna give him a benefit of the doubt and just... Minions have spawned. Whatever. I mean... If he goes anti-heal, let him go anti-heal. I mean, there's very little chance he's winning this game, unfortunately, for him. Let's put down the blue buff. We get the sustain. As per usual, I always recommend to start the duel in the blue buff. We're gonna clear with our one. He's trying to stun me. We're gonna cancel it and just put down this one to get the lifesteal and get some damage on him. I have our stun. Uh, minions hurt. He doesn't realize that. Ooh, that's the base. I mean, I, it's hard to tell. He probably would have died if he didn't base. Oh, what are you thinking, my man? You can't do that like that. What was that? I don't know. I'm gonna get the experience and go for the back line as well. We're hitting five on our way to the minis, which is perfect. We also have enough gold for the bankrupts, and I think I'm gonna back over here. Maybe gonna be a little late to the next wave, but it's fine. Dropping the speed buff on our way to the lane. Looks like he's stuck in the either a blue buff or a speed buff. I think a blue buff last time he was having speed buff, right? So it's tankier, that's why he's late. We have full bankrupts, he cannot fight us anymore. Looks like he was also doing minis. Oh, we got an ultimate. He doesn't have beats. We hit our stun. He dies here. And he's dead. Yeah, that looks like a double fiver double feature. You know, Sam the dude, I think he coined the phrase the fiver. That that really that is really what it is. I'm gonna ward up on his blue buff in advance, it's gonna spawn pretty soon. The red buff, however, is up. I should have went there, to be honest, but I missed time a little bit. He's looking. Probably he didn't see me in lane or something. I'm gonna do some stuff here. Okay, okay, we're just gonna straight up grab it. Oh, shit, I didn't take it. But we need to run. I don't want to get stunned. Yeah, he's doing it. It's fine. We're gonna prevent him from doing that. I can tank it with my physical attacks without taking any damage with all Bancrofts. Okay. Just stun him out and we're just gonna straight up walk out. He wasted his ult like that, which is really stupid. He's obviously salty. But, honestly, I don't know what he expected. Just have fun. And putting down this blue buff, even if he has blue, uh, beads, he cannot walk up in here, because I will kill him. Let's stun him out. This should kill him. Okay, okay, I think he beats, right? So it's also fine. He still loses half of this wave. Let's zone him out a little bit to make sure that he loses that. He's not going back to tower. Looks like speed buff should be up, and it is up. That is so bully. But we gotta keep the mental pressure, man. I want a double feature with double fiver. That should be pretty nice. 
not gonna drop this i'm gonna go straight for the lane make sure that he loses gold to the tower also i'm pretty um so it might backfire if i did that my blue buff is up but we have our red and also a lot of gold in our hands so i'm just gonna back and while the red buff wears out i'm gonna run to my blue and pick it up want to not miss the experience we're gonna ward up my blue buff just to make sure that he's not stealing it mark the minions for the experience grab the blue buff he went to the left jungle which probably that these smalls in the mid are down but it's fine like i said the red buff wears out we now have a blue I stunned them out just to make sure that I clear safely. We're gonna cancel R2, make sure that he does not hit three auto attacks to stun me. Next stun, gonna kill him if I land it. I'm gonna line steal off of these boys right here a little bit. Pretty significant bit, actually. Okay, I land the stun, he dies. There he is. Alrighty then. And that's another fiver. Well, that's kind of how most of the duels go. That's one of the main reasons why I don't upload as much duel content as I would have wanted. It's really hard to find an entertaining duel for you guys to upload. But if you enjoyed the double feature fiver upload, please subscribe to the channel if you're new. Leave a comment. I respond to every single comment on my channel. Leave a like if you like the video. And as always, I hope to see you in the next video. Have a wonderful day.